Yo guys and welcome back. Today we're hopping into Blender and I'm going to show you the easiest way to turn your PNG logo into a 3D model, guys. This is a skill that is quite easy, but it's part of one of the commissions I'm working on and I figured, hey, I might as well show you guys how to do it as well. So first things first, you're going to need your image and this works for any image. It doesn't have to be a logo, literally anything, but this calls for a logo, so you want to grab your image and drag it on into Blender. Make sure you're in object mode and it'll be its own object. Now this one is very simple, so it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to press G to grab and just move it into the center. Not necessary, but I do it anyways. And guys, right before we get into it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Your boy is trying to grow on the platform. Anyways, you want to go into edit mode, press M and then at center on your vertice selection mode. Now you have one vertice, okay? Then we're gonna press G to drag this. Uh, it's to grab, but you know, I'm gonna say drag. And then you're gonna do control and right click. And then you'll just have this line and you go around your entire thing like this. Control, right click, control, right click. And the last one, you wanna get it really close to the first one. Then turn your magnet up here and make sure you're on vertex select. And then while you have this one selected, Hover over this one and press G. And there you go, that connects it all together. And then we're gonna press A and F. And as you can see, we have one piece of this logo done. Now this is a super, super simple logo. So there's not like a ton of work involved, <laughs> but we're gonna do the same thing at center, then press G to grab it. We're gonna move this right down to here. Let me turn off our little magnet tool because yo, it's kind of clipping with some stuff and we don't need that now of course the more curvy the logo the more complex it's going to be but overall same process applies to everything this is another way that i like to do maps so i'll draw them out and then come into blender to make the ground shape just like this i did it way 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 back in the day for the vortex simulator map and everyone was asking me bro how did you do that now what i'm gonna do is press a shift d and s to scale this in and it's not going to be exact but i can make it exact so no worries that was just the quickest way that i could get this inner side i'm going to press c to grab both of those at once which of course it's not going to work that's so weird why won't it grab them both Bruh. all right no worries no worries i'm gonna do the top ones first i'm gonna grab these two and do s and x to scale only along the x axis which I think it would do either way without clicking on it since we are in a perspective view or whatever it's called, front orthographic. But uh, yeah, you know. I'm gonna just click this magnet, press G on this one. There we go, snapped to it. Now I filled this in. I'm gonna go to my face select mode right here and delete this face. And there we go, second part of our logo. D did that just delete everything? Oh my. Okay, so instead of pressing F, I'm gonna go on this line select mode here and here and then press F. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here and here. I can click this line as well, F. And then we're gonna grab this one, this one, this one, and this one, and press F. Now we have that piece of the logo. Last but not least, we have the P, which uh, shouldn't be that bad. Now guys, you can just take a vertice. So if I wanted to just grab this, do Shift D, and now I have another vertice to work with, but I do want these to be separate. That's why I spawned in a new object each time. But if you don't need them to be separate, it's super simple. You can just grab that and then continue your process of control and right clicking very, very fast. Scroll all the way to the bottom. It is nice that this is a super, super easy logo. I've definitely done some uh, rather complex ones in my time and it's not exactly fun. All right, let's go ahead and line this up. It's so hard to see, but there we go. Now we have our inside done as of right. Now, let me merge these two together g and then i have to do the same thing where i kind of select faces or i mean edges press f select some more edges grab that as well f and same thing up here and you just rinse and repeat that process and now we grab these last edges so one two three and the fourth down here and press f and there we go guys we now have this logo i need to fix up this little gap right here which is not a big issue go to my vertice selection mode oh it's because i didn't click the line i missed one line down here so we're gonna get rid of that and then grab our lines one more time then we can press f and as you can see it is all good to go now all we have to do delete this and we have our logo here 
if you go into this mode here and click on face orientation, you can see that, yo, some of this is a little messed up, but no worries. I'm going to go ahead and put all of it together and add a modifier called solidify, just like this. And now it's good to go. I am going to make this a little bit thicker. All right. Then we're going to do control A to apply that modifier. Go into edit mode, grab this, and I do need to reline it up because I was using the opposite face, but no big deal. Very, very simple thing to do. Now we have our logo, and depending how picky your client is, you have a little bit of creative freedom. Like, personally, I would like to do a couple more things to this, but then it's no longer their logo, so I can't. But I would probably add a solidify mod- or not solidify, a subsurface modifier to it. You know, this looks cool, <laughs> but it's not their logo anymore, so let's not. Okay, I'm gonna save this real quick, but I do want to try to remesh this and make it look 8-bit just to see. Blocks. <laughs> Okay, let me, uh, let me go uh, more blocks. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> it's all gone, boys. It's all gone. All right, so I definitely wouldn't recommend Remesh. Anyways, we now have a completed logo. So we could turn off our face orientation mode because we know everything is where it goes. And then I need to separate these again since I did make them one object, which I'm just pressing L and then P and then selection. So L is to select linked P and then selection. And now we have three separate objects. We're going to highlight everything and export it as an FBX right here. Make sure you have a selection or selected objects checked and export. Then you hop into the Roblox studio and go to asset manager. Click this little bulk import icon right here. Find whatever you made or whatever you named it on your computer. Click apply all and then it'll start importing the three items. For me, it was three. It could be more or less for you, depending what you select in Blender. Then you want to just click on the top one, shift click the bottom one, right click and insert with location. And guys, as you can see, we now have the logo inside Roblox Studio. I'm going to highlight everything, control G to make it one group. And now I can individually change the colors depending on what we want to do. But guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.